If you follow the channel, you know we are always looking for great ways for families to engage with video games. And what better way than to make your own games? We're just back from an event at Media Molecule, the developers behind a new game creation tool called Dreams. We partnered with Girls Make Games to see what these children could make in the space of the day using their tools. While the girls were getting set up, I spoke to Leila Shabir, the founder of Girls Make Games, to find out why they're partnering with Dreams on this project. So this is our first time coming to the UK and it's just been such an amazing partnership with PlayStation, Media Molecule, and not just for us, but also for the girls. I mean, they're making a game inside a game at a game studio. It doesn't get more perfect than this. And just watching the girls, you know, pick up the controller and give it a go, knowing nothing. Um, and what you start with looks like a blank canvas, but at the end you have all these amazing creations, you know, from dragons to zombie cats and what they were able to make in dreams may look so complex, but the process to get there has been so simplified. It's, you know, it's really, really lowered that barrier to entry into making a fully functional and polished game. And I think that feeling of confidence that you get at the end where you can say, yeah, I made a game, you know, I had an idea and I was able to take it from my mind and put it on the screen and it's great and everybody loved it. You carry it with yourself for the rest of your life. In dreams, you make games that it can be like whatever you want. It's not like restricted to what's on there. You can literally make whatever you want. I watch quite a few videos on YouTube about coding and stuff, and it's always men doing it, and I never see any girls or anything. So it's really good to have somewhere where I can go and make games and stuff, and I can see other girls that are interested in things like this. Not just me. <laughs> oh, the game I made is um, basically, it's kind of like, there's obstacles and you have to jump on them and the obstacles are glowing and everything around it is dark so they really stand out and the characters glowing as well and you just have to try and get to the checkpoint at the end by jumping on all these things <laughs> and I think there's like bouncers and things you can jump on as well to get to different places. Um, well it's really easy to pick up, I mean after you know the basic controls then you're pretty much set, like you can rotate things, you can change the colour, make things glow, you can literally do whatever. I really like Dreams because it, you get to let your creativity burst and you just get to be yourself and make whatever you want. I don't know how to describe it, it's just that good. I've been making a game and I've just started to make my music quite upbeat tempo and I've been putting some like slow bits in as well to like mix it and make it sound quite cool um, to go along with like the rhythm of the game. It's just like a platform moving back and forwards and then you have to try and get onto it and then jump onto a different platform um, which is also moving and then everything's sort of like moving you've got to try and jump onto everything. So yeah my game's quite fun but also quite hard. It's good for girls to make games because um, a lot of people think that it's more of a, like a boy thing but it's better for it to be sort of like a girl and a boy thing because then they can come together and they can sort of make it more creative and it can make it more interesting. So the game that I made, um, at the start I put loads of little spikes on so if um, my character was to touch it, they would die because it's fire. It was a little bit challenging because there were loads of different buttons, but um, when you got into it, it was easier. It's very adventurous, so you can add whatever you want to it. You can add loads of different things to make it more girly. Just from a day, you can make like a whole game, and I might think about doing it as a job because it's really fun. It's really interesting because it's like a game in a game and you work on creating something inside of a game. So I made one of my own levels and I had to get from one end to another and I made different obstacles to get there. So you can paint stuff and you can use different shapes to build stuff. It's really cool. It was like tricky but it was easy at the same time because you had to work out what you needed to do and you're kind of making it up on your own. I think this opportunity was like really, really cool for me to understand what it is like in the industry of gaming and things like that, especially for girls. So after playing Dreams, I would think about um, having a job in the games industry because it's really interesting and I really enjoy it. 
It's been really wonderful seeing the girls make games workshop today. The games industry is as interesting as the people that are in it. It is the medium of our time. We need new voices. I love celebrating ways of finding new voices to bring into the industry. I would love to see it that like making games is one of those things that parents encourage as much as like playing the guitar or learning a language or something like that. Like it's a multidisciplinary skill. So we sort of love the idea of like families making stuff together. We love the idea of people sharing their joy of creation together. Looking at what people are making today, it kind of feels very clear to me that it is for the next generation of game designers, it's for the next generation of architects, for the next generation of you know, fashion designers. The one that excites me the most is it's for the next question mark, what is it? And that is like incredibly exciting because the games industry itself and all of these industries will just evolve and change over time. And it's these ones, these young people who are gonna take us to the future and I don't know what they're gonna do, but they're, they're, they're birthing it now. Come on!